What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be taking you through setting up and using OpenSSH as a server on Ubuntu WSL, but this will work for a lot of other Debian-based WSL operating systems. Essentially, SSH is a remote terminal that we can use to connect to our WSL virtual machine and control it. When you open up WSL, it pretty much is already an SSH session. It's just a shell. But if you'd like to access it outside of your computer and the internet, you'll need to create a specific SSH server in order to set up and use it. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. I'll go ahead and start by opening up Ubuntu WSL, which brings up a brand new terminal on my system where we can go ahead and type in some commands. There we go, Ubuntu is now awake. We'll start by installing the SSH server. sudo apt install open SSH hyphen server. Then hit enter, enter your sudo password, yes, and wait for the open SSH server to be installed. Now we can sudo nano etc SSH SSHD underscore config to change the configuration of our server. We can change the port here, for example, to 2000. Scrolling down below, we can use public key authentication, etc. But we'll get back here later. Control S to save and Control X to close. Now we'll need to automatically start up the SSH server when we start Ubuntu WSL. With a recent update to Ubuntu WSL, System D is enabled, meaning we can get it to automatically start up whenever the Ubuntu system starts. To do this, run sudo systemctl enable ssh and sudo systemctl status ssh to find out if it's running. Then we just need to enable it. We'll sudo nano etsy wsl.conf and inside of here, we need to make sure that inside of brackets boot the next line system d equals true. Control S to save, Control X to close. Now we need to restart our Ubuntu WSL. I'll open a new tab, WSL hyphen hyphen shut down to close it. Then we'll go ahead and restart it. So Ubuntu WSL and now sudo systemctl enable ssh password and sudo systemctl status ssh and we should see that it's running. Now obviously if you're going to forward this to outside of your local PC, it's a good idea to pick a port different to 22 and when you're ready, you can allow it through the firewall. So with this command in the description down below, you can enable a firewall rule giving access to the open SSH server in here. But I already have an SSH server running on Windows, so I won't be running that unless I change the port. Anyways, if you'd like to change it, use sudo nano etc ssh sshd underscore config. In here we can customize different things, including the port for example. This however is ignored with Ubuntu 22.10 and above just because sshd is changed. The rest of these commands should still have effect, it's just the port that should not work and the listen address for that matter. Now in order to change the port that it uses, we need to run a few different commands. First of all, we need to make a configuration file here. Now we need to sudo nano etsy systemd system ssh.socket.d listen.conf and paste in this here. Control S to save, Control X to close. Then we need to reload the daemon, sudo systemctl daemon reload and sudo systemctl restart ssh. Now when we sudo systemctl status ssh, you should see that it's now running on port 2200. Cool. That was a bit of a workaround, but at least we got there. Now, if we go ahead and shut down this operating system with WSL shutdown, it should close. We'll reopen Ubuntu here, and shortly after it boots, you should see sudo systemctl status ssh password. That was the wrong password. Then it's still running on port 2200. Cool. Let's go ahead and connect to it. For example, I'll use Visual Studio Code. Using the remote SSH plugin, I'll configure local hosts and we'll add a new option here for Ubuntu WSL. We can then connect to it. So, so remote SSH connect to host and Linux continue, enter the password. And just like that, we should now be connected to it, which we are. Let's go to files, open folder, and let's open just the root directory with slash as such. Okay, enter the password once more. Now we can navigate our Ubuntu WSL computer, control J, we can Neo fetch, for example, and you can see that it is running on Techno PC, Ubuntu Luna Lobster. And if we run Neo fetch here, for example, you'll see it's the same things, just a little bit slower. Anyways, now we have it running. At this point, you can run that aforementioned firewall command to allow it through the firewall and connect to it outside of this computer. Anyways, that's about it. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.